On today's video, we're gonna be making chicken shawarma on a skewer. Stick around for this recipe. So when I first moved up to Northern California from Los Angeles, I had a hell of a time finding chicken shawarma, chicken kebab, just good Mediterranean food. And this recipe saved me. I love this recipe. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be cubing up some chicken thighs, we're gonna be skewering them, we're gonna be marinating them, and then tonight, after they marinate for a couple of hours, we're gonna go outside on the grill, grill them up, get that little char on them. We're gonna make a nice little garlic sauce, put it on a little rice, a little naan, and we're gonna have ourselves a really good, easy weekday Mediterranean dish. All right, let's jump into the ingredients. All right, our ingredients. That's five chicken thighs. It's about two pounds. I cubed them up myself. We're gonna need some olive oil, fresh garlic, juice of a lemon, that's just non-fat, plain Greek yogurt, basic stuff. Salt, pepper, obviously. That's ground coriander, which is basically dried cilantro. Ground cumin, red pepper flake, some smoked paprika. And all of this is gonna go in there. We're gonna make a little marinade right now. All right, so we got our chicken thighs. That's a half a cup of the Greek yogurt. And I'm doing the juice of, this is a baby lemon. So if you just have a big lemon, just do a half a lemon, but the juice of one lemon in my case. I'm going in with five big ass cloves of garlic out of this garlic press. I'm gonna go in with like two tablespoons of olive oil. And you guys don't have to remember this, it'll be in the link below. Now this is a tablespoon of that coriander. Now this is a tablespoon of that cumin. This stuff really brings it out. The smoked paprika is also a tablespoon. Red pepper flake is a teaspoon. We're going in with a teaspoon of the coarse black pepper and a teaspoon of our kosher salt. Now with our properly gloved hand, we give it a really nice good mix. And then I'm gonna cover this with saran wrap and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna do probably four or five hours today, but I've definitely done this overnight and it's really banging after that. So I would do a minimum four to five hours longer the better, but just keep it in the refrigerator covered with saran wrap. And then after it's ready to roll, we're gonna pull out each little chunk and then we'll skewer it and then we'll grill it. And then we'll make a nice little garlic sauce and Bob's your uncle. So this is the garlic sauce that yes. we're gonna put on top of the chicken once we put it on the naan and stuff like that. Is this called tomb? tomb? No. no, no. Tomb is something different. This oh, is just okay. the garlic sauce. Okay. So that's one cup of the Greek yogurt that we used earlier in the marinade, but more Greek yogurt is the base of this as well. Teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, and teaspoon of cumin. Yes, sir. And this is like a, like... it's more of like a, it's not as thick as tomb, it's, it's more of a nicer... It's a wetter sauce? Wetter sauce, not, but still thick, but very good. It really complements the chicken well. So that's a tablespoon of parsley now. And like I said earlier, all of the ingredients and all of the measurements and stuff are gonna be below in the description. So you don't have to remember it now. I'm just giving you a little visual demonstration. And that's a tablespoon of the white vinegar. White vinegar. $8 milk. $8 a gallon milk. How and with the way our kids drink it, we could probably <laughs> buy a cow and milk it ourselves. Yeah, seriously. For the same price. So you're doing three tablespoons of milk? Yep. All right. It's supposed to be a juice of half a lime, but that's a baby lime. <laughs> and then you're going to squeeze that garlic into yes, there, sir. too. Yes, sir. I All do. Right. Mm. Yeah, get that garlic. Yay, this is when it all comes together. And then we're going to put this in the refrigerator as well as the chicken that's already in the refrigerator, and then we'll be grilling later. Mm, I can't wait. This stuff is my favorite. All right, it's been about six hours. I soaked the sticks in water. And I just, it's not a science. I just put all the chunks on there. We're gonna go out to the Monument Grills and get them grilled up. Welcome to my backyard. This is my Monument Grills Denali series. Love this thing. Don't mind that it's super, super dirty. We literally use this thing like every single night. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna fire up the lights. We're gonna fire up the temp gauge. Don't mind that. Like I said, super dirty. I still got a pizza stone down there that we're gonna be we're gonna be firing up. So let's fire this thing up. Let's turn it like this. Let's get it going. 
And just like that, the Monument Grills is fired up. And we're going to put that chicken shawarma, those uh, skewers, right on there. And it's going to be a super de duper easy cook. Oh, every time I make this recipe, I fall in love with it all over again. It's just so good and so simple. And it cooks fairly fast on the Monument Grills. And I just keep flipping it. I'm trying to build that little char on it and just really get it just absolutely perfect. Let's close it down and get some heat on it. You guys have seen me talk about the Monument Grills on the channel before. So it's running at what, 475 right now? All color coded knobs, six burners. This is like the Denali series. This is like the awesomest one. Awesomest, is that a word? See through window. And then it has all these interchangeable discs right here. We got that one. We got the pizza stone down there. We got that one. And so really love this thing. I apologize for it being so dirty. Like I said, we just use it like every single night. That chicken trauma is going to be amazing. And it is coming along very, very nicely. Not too shabby, coming along. They cook pretty fast, but I don't want to rush it. I just want to build that flavor, get that char, and move them right along. These are just about done in under 20 minutes. I like to get my temperature above 165. They're about 160. Some of the pieces are like 155, so I'm just going to give it another. There's 159. I'm just going to give it another couple of minutes, and these are done. I just want to make sure that I'm food safe, but I don't want to overcook. But chicken thighs are pretty forgiving, so and that's how easy it is. So we got some turmeric rice. We got that garlic sauce that we talked to you guys about earlier. Two kebabs that we're going to pull off, a little naan bread. There we have it. Goodness. Okay, let's make a little bite here with some sauce and some rice. And the rice doesn't taste a whole, whole lot different, but it just tastes enough, different enough. And this is the most delicious thing you'll ever have. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, am I ever? <laughs> Mm -hmm. That makes you happy. Mm -hmm. I started this video by saying up until recently we couldn't find Mediterranean food out here. Mm -hmm. If you can't find Mediterranean food and you need to make it at home, this is it. Yeah. Totally. This is exactly what our state what it tastes like when we go there. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. So All good. Right, babe. Thank you. See you on the next one. Mm -hmm.